Whether it's your trade binder or your personal collection of rares and mythics, the choice you make in binders and portfolios is an important one, but it is also a complex one due to the many options on the market today. In this video, we'll examine three ring binders offered by Ultra Pro, Max Protection, and Kset, as well as the Dragon Hide portfolio from Legion. Let's take a look. The three ring binder offered by Ultra Pro is one of the most likely to turn up at your local game store. Like most Ultra Pro products, the binder features artwork from the current set, typically of Planeswalkers. The first thing you should ask yourself when looking at this product is, is there any advantage over a typical binder that can be purchased at an office supply store? MTG art is not necessarily an advantage, although I do recognize that for many players it is desirable, but if we're talking about durability and longevity, the Ultra Pro fails in every way. This binder is brand new. After only opening and closing the rings a few times, they have already become misaligned and can never be properly fixed. Binder pages now catch on these. I've been told by several store owners that these often arrive already broken. There's no question, this is a straight up fail. In contrast, Max Protection's binders are more durable and less likely to break. Like Ultra Pro, Max Protection offers colorful artwork. So, this is satisfactory. It's a C, but it doesn't excel in any particular area. Here's something to consider. Three ring binders are not specialty items. Quite the contrary. They have been used in huge numbers by businesses and individuals alike. There are entire stores essentially devoted to the sale of three ring binders, manufactured by companies that specialize in office supplies. Going into your local office supply store is going to give you options in price, size, color, and most of all, durability. But remember that fantasy artwork isn't the reason to buy a three ring binder. Durability is. See what your local office supply store has to offer. I'll show you my top picks in just a moment. But first, is there anything Ultra Pro offers for gamers and card collectors that an office binder cannot? This is the Ultra Pro Specialty Series. Affordably priced between $12 and $14.99, it boasts a zipper to protect cards from spilling out. The idea behind this is great because cards can slide out of binder pages, especially while in transport. Having a zippered binder means your cards are never going to fall out. The problem with Ultra Pro's specialty series is that they are still using flimsy materials. The covers are thin cardboard. They don't feel particularly firm. There is a rigid plastic spine, which is good, but again, it's not particularly thick plastic. The plastic siding is just not as durable as it could be. The binder pages also fall awkwardly on the outside of the cover if you flip through them. I do like the side pockets as they are handy for storing supplies like dice, tokens, pen and paper. The size is a bit of a drawback. The specialty series binder is bulky and it doesn't easily fit in most backpacks. The idea is right, but I would love to see a version of this made with truly durable, hard-to-break materials. Still, if you are someone constantly on the move, this is superior to just a standard three-ring binder. This will get the job done, but not with any particular distinction. It's the very definition of a C. Despite the name, Ultra Pro's specialty series is far from special. Zippered binders are available at your office supply store. There were literally half a dozen choices at my local office supply store. This was my favorite out of all of them, the K-Sit. The K-Sit is able to offer card collectors what Ultra Pro can't. Not just durability, but also endurability. The cover on this is solid. If it is cardboard in there, it's particularly thick, and I suspect it is actually a plastic resin. The covers are padded with thick canvas and nylon. They'll absorb a lot of punishment if this is dropped on or sat on or shoved in an overhead compartment. It also holds a lot of pages. I was able to combine two of my large binders in here. I 
I also love that the case it has two compartments, so it is essentially two binders in one. It also comes with a shoulder strap and has a very solid handle for carrying. Anyone who is frequently transporting a large collection will benefit from the added security of the K-Set. Cards that may slide out of your binder pages will not be able to fall out. Anyone who has ever dropped a heavy binder filled with cards will recognize how useful such a feature is. Average price is $20. Grade A-. If your local office supply store doesn't carry this brand, it's widely available online. I'll include some links in the description. Moving on to the world of portfolios, Legion has blown its competitors out of the water with its new Elder Dragon Hide portfolio. Focusing on both quality and function, the Dragon Hide is an excellent portfolio. The covers are rigid and very sturdy. This thing is tough. Compare the loose, easily broken plastic strap on the Ultra Pro to the Legion's, which snaps on tight and doesn't get tangled out. All right, look at how tough this thing is. Heavy. Don't try this with the Ultra Pro or Monster portfolios. You know, it's kind of embarrassing that the Legion Elder Dragon Hide portfolio is stronger than I am. I gave up on holding that much weight before the portfolio did. If this is in my backpack and someone accidentally sits on it or crams it somewhere, I've got added protection for my cards. Inside the portfolio, the pockets are the perfect size for holding your cards, whether double-sleeved or not. I really like how snug it holds them. The pockets feel a little looser than Ultra Pro and Monster, but this is a good thing. My Ultra Pro and Monster portfolios hold the cards so tightly that they often stretch out of shape and in a few instances even break. Legion's pockets are a perfect fit. And if you are worried that not strapping in the cards as tightly means they will slide out, here I'm spinning the portfolio around to show that the cards stay in place despite the less than tight pockets. Both double-sleeved and not-sleeved at all did just fine. This portfolio is my top pick, a solid A, followed by Monster at B+, and Ultra Pro at B-. I'd trade all my Ultra Pro and Monster portfolios for Legion Dragon Hide portfolios in a heartbeat if I could. Really impressive work. I hope this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to subscribe, like, share, or just by leaving a comment. And remember, you can't play Magic at Target or Walmart, so try and purchase your Magic the Gathering supplies and accessories at your local game store whenever it's reasonably possible.